Hello developers, I'm Michael and today's topic is about model in React application. I think that many of you have multiple situations where you want to display some information or even notify user via model and that's why I prefer that material. Enjoy! First of all, let's see on model component criteria. Model should be managed from outside and receive information about its state. Model should have a possibility to close itself by clicking X button. Model should have an overlay and a possibility to close itself by clicking on that overlay. Model should render children passed in from parent component. Now let's see the design. This is basically what we are going to build. Easy model component with some overlay outside, X button in right corner and a place for a content. All reflex criteria which I mentioned. Ok guys, we know what exactly we are going to build, so let's go to the code. This is basic React application structure. I just clean up a bit and I prepare the app component. And here as you can see is a model state management and a button which will toggle model. Besides that I also prepared some styles, I prepared an image files and empty components directory. Besides that I added also some CSS styles. Now let's see the application. As you can see there we have logo and button and this button is going to toggle model. Of course, model is not done yet. Now we can start implement model component. First, I'll create a file. Import React from React library. Before we create a model, let's prepare interface for its properties. As I told, I'd like to manage it from outside. That's why we need two properties is open and on close, which is going to be a function. Besides that, I'd like to pass a title and rest will be passed as a children. Okay, now let's create a model. First, let's distract our properties. Now I'm going to create some GSX. I'd like to keep structure as simple as possible.
Ok, basic structure of our model is done. Let's now import it in app component. As I told you in the beginning, our model should be manageable from outside. And now I'm going to pass two properties to manage its state. Is model open and toggle model. Besides that, I want to add some title. And some content as a children. Ok, now you can see our model in action. For now it's just a simple text and it's always visible. Now let's go back to the code and fix an issue with constantly displayed model. First, I'd like to take its open property which tells us about model visibility. And now I'm going to return model GSX structure or null if it's open is a false. Now let's check if it works. As you can see, when I refresh, model is gone. And when I click again, model appears. Everything works fine. Let's go back to the code. Now let's create some styles for our model. I speed up that CSS section. If it's too fast for you, you can find all of that code in my repository, which is paste in the description for that video. Ok, our code is done, let's now see how it looks like. And as you can see, I can click on X button and close the model. But there is a problem, I cannot close model on an overlay. So now let's go back to the code and fix that problem. First, I need to create a reference to overlay. And to do this, I'm going to use react, use ref, and pass null as an initial value. Let's fix an indentation. Now I'm going to create a function which will be invoked by clicking on an overlay. This function receive event argument and now I'm going to check if this event target is equal to overlaid ref current. Let's now fix the typing. to check if click element so event target is equal to 
our overlay reference. If so, I'd like to invoke onClose method. Ok, function is ready. Now let's pass it to our model overlay div. Ok, now let's see if it works. And as you can see, unfortunately we have some problem. And this is because we didn't pass a ref object to our model overlay. Let's fix it now. Now everything is working correctly. In this moment, model is working as we expect, but I'd like to add some close button animation. Animation done, and this is result. The last thing I want to do is to add some media queries. Currently we have our model box element width set as 80%, and I want to improve it a bit for bigger resolution. That's why I want to set max width as 600 pixels. Now you can see how it behaves on different resolutions. Okay guys, it's all for today. I think that we prepared pretty nice model. Feel free to extend it, depends on your needs. You can add some buttons, other properties, whatever you want. I hope that you enjoy that. If so, give me a thumbs up, add some comments, and of course, I encourage you to subscribe my channel to be up to date with my videos. See you next time.